From Poland down to all season, the Vikings are in five lights. Ahead of the drivers. It's Lisa. And last draws come. And we have 19 on the grid. Then one in the pit lane. It's Lisa. Five important facts about Shell Helix. One, Shell Helix is the world's first carbon neutral motor oil made from natural gas. Two, Shell Helix protects your engine, even in the most extreme temperatures. Three, Shell Helix improves fuel efficiency and helps reduce emissions. Four, it's designed to provide ultimate engine performance without compromise. And five, Shell Helix is the only motor oil used, trusted and recommended by Scuderia Ferrari. And you can use it in your car too. back missing one miles arenas again and of course young boy andy unahay natin yung pinakamalayo andy how are you good evening yes yes good evening good evening sa lahat actually good evening good morning good afternoon wherever <laughs> whenever you are watching this show welcome everyone to the purple sector this is the racing lines post race breakdown show and this week we are looking at the uh, Brazilian Grand Prix and yep. what a race it was indeed. So we have a lot to go through. Let's get to it. Yep. Yam boy. Kumusta yam? Napuyat ka ba? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, medyo napuyat pero okay lang. Maganda yung karera. Hindi tayo ah, yes. hindi siya yeah. boring. Yeah, maganda. Maraming nangyari. And I mean, for the first time this season, we saw a lot of actions. No? Um, sa Spa, may nakita tayo, pero obviously Spa is really great for overtaking. Pero ito, uh, very short, but very intense. No? Yeah, yeah. Pwede natin oh, yeah. intense. Kasi all drivers woke up. All drivers, yung bang parang, uy, this is it. Uh, considering it's the third to the last race so wala yeah. nang wala nang ano dun sa mga puntos pero yung urge nila to to race dapat ganun lagi yung mga race track so yun ang nakita ko dun sa karera na yun yeah, yeah. Aside, aside from that the race track is also high speed so uh, mm. very nice maneuvers as well and of course the box stretch uh, the box straight going to the main straight Wow, very nice, very high speed. So that uh, that's what you get from Sao Paulo, Brazil. And of course, before we go to uh, Yum Boys Yum Analysis, don't forget uh, we're still giving out the toolkit, uh, the car shade, and the T-shirt and the polo shirt. Thank you so much, Shell Helix. Maraming salamat po. And 
nag-message si Carl kanina or nag-comment siya, baka lang siguro na ipit sa logistics yung yung mga pinadala namin due to the long weekend. So, antay-antay lang. It will come your way and here we go. Yum, shall we? All right. So, eto na nga. Uh, welcome to the Formula One Rolex Grand Premio de Sao Paulo. This is a sprint weekend, so we'll be expecting uh, qualifying Friday, yeah, sprint yeah. shootout Saturday, sprint Saturday, and race Sunday. Okay, so since sprint week ito, we have Friday qualifying. Punta na kagat tayo sa, sa results. Eliminated is Yuki Sonoda, Daniel Ricardo, uh, Bota, Sargent, and Joe Guan Yu. And then, pagdating naman sa Q2, eliminated is Hulkenberg, Ocon, Gasly, Magnussen, and Alpon. Alright. So, kung mapapansin natin sa dalawang uh, results na ito, uh, like this one, yung mga promising cars during the Mexican Grand Prix, they were eliminated like uh, Yuki Sonoda and Daniel Ricardo. Probably because the setup of their car, and then uh, Hulkenberg make it made it Q2, pero natanggal siya. Uh, si Ocon, Gasly, um, Magnussen, and Albon. So pagdating naman dito sa Q3, uh, <laughs> nagdilim, yeah. nagdilim ang paligid. <laughs> So, puti na lang nakalabas kagad si Max Verstappen and he was able to uh, to run his Q3 session and nakuha niya ang Q1. Uh, tapos biglang nag-yellow flag dahil nag-spin si Oscar Piastri. Too bad for the drivers like... Um, Checo Perez, uh, he was doing his lap and then all of a sudden may yellow flag kasi ito nga na dumula si Oscar Piastri. So wala siyang choice but to uh, to decrease the speed so hindi siya naka uh, hindi siya nakakuha ng mga top times and then after this uh, madilim na madilim na sabi ni Manong Alonso it's night. Uh, and then after this after this umulan na kaya they decided to red flag the session and ito yung result, results natin first up in P1 Charles Leclerc P2 Lance Stroll P3 yeah. um, Manu Alonso P4 uh, next to them is Hamilton Russell Norris, Sainz, Perez, and Piastri. Um, I think it's a stroke of luck for this uh, to Aston Martins. Kasi nga, uh, sila yung mga naunang lumabas. Kaya, swerte sila. Pero, um, there's a big improvement with their cars. Kasi makikita din natin, trailing behind them is uh, the two Mercedes-Benz. So, yeah, very... I don't know if they're... <laughs> If they're just lucky to get the that uh, pole three and pole four, pero mm-hmm. obviously parang nagkaroon ng magandang improvement dun sa kotse nila because both cars of Aston Martin made it to the top four, uh, and then obviously Lewis Hamilton and George Russell they struggled with their pace, so yun too bad for them. So that was uh, qualifying. Uh, itong result na ito will be on race day Sunday. Race day, yes. So we go to Saturday Spring Shootout. Okay. SQ1 pa lang. Nagkaroon na ng dramatic ending. Uh, <laughs> yung run ni Esteban Ocon. We can see here that Esteban Ocon hit the wall and then got a huge damage on his car because of this uh, contact with his former teammate Mano Alonso um, 
during the race, all the replays, they got on board of Alonso, like this one. Ito yung on board ni Alonso. And may on board din si Esteban Ocon uh, to investigate kung sino yung may mali. And it ended, ended up na talagang racing incident lang talaga kasi nag-adjust ng konti to the left si Alonso. And then dumulas naman si Esteban Ocon. So, yun, nagkaroon sila ng contact. So, here, ito yung uh, approach ni Ocon and yun yung ending niya. Spinning the car, hit the wall, and huge damage to the car. Pati din sa kotse ni ano, Manong Alonso, there's a huge damage on his left tire uh, suspension. Hindi na gumugulong. So, yun ang nangyari sa kanya. Yeah, so, so, ito um, yung eliminated... Just... Yeah. Sige, so, yeah, bro, just, uh, clarifying no, for, our, for our viewers. Um, mm. Ocon was very, very animated on the radio, diba? <laughs> um, right? Immediately after that incident. Um, but turns out from the replays, no, na Alonso wasn't at fault. Um, it doesn't matter if he was there or not. Ocon was ba- yeah. he basically lost control of his car bago pa niya na-collect si, si Alonso. Yun, yun yung nangyari. If, yeah. you, if you go back on the replays, maririnig nyo and makikita nyo sa, sa galaw ng kamay niya, he had already lost control. Palabas pala siya ng curve bago pa niya tinamaan si, si Alonso. Ewan ko kung na-distract ba siya kay Alonso or may nangyari. Bago, Probably. Ano, wala siya ng control. Pero by the time he had made contact with Manong Alonso, he was basically, they were both just passengers at that point. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, Lona, yung ano lang, um, his, his language on the radio was yeah. less, than, less than spectacular, let's say. Um, and talang, ano, up to the point na, na napareak na si, si Alonso, normally he shrug it off, pero sinabi niya, ah, ganun talaga si, si, si Teban. <laughs> hindi na siya, ano, hindi na siya. He's not, he wasn't surprised by Ocon's um, response. Then again, it's a, you're, you're in qualifying, so... Obilisan talaga ng takbo so your adrenaline's rushing all the time and you know these things can happen so it's it's F1 <laughs> of you course. get these things in it yeah. <laughs> but yeah just 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 um just so we're clear yeah I, racing incident di talaga si yeah either party mm-hmm. either parties yes um it's very clear uh parang kung baga sa ano it's it's really an accident. Uh, yeah, walang may absolutely. sadya, walang may mali. Ano lang talaga. Because um, you, Alonso was uh, moving out of his way kasi alam niya merong paparating. Nag-adjust lang siya ng konti. Konting, konti lang talaga. And then, pagdating naman ni Esteban Ocon, yun, talagang they made impact. Uh, kaya, sabi ng mga stewards, okay, wala. Wala na yan. Okay na yan. <laughs> Racing incident na yan. So, this one, uh, buti na lang, Manong Alonso made it to Q2 because of a good time. So, eliminated in uh, Q1, um, SQ1, the sprint shootout one is Esteban Ocon, Lance Stroll, Joe Guan Yu, Albon, and Sargent. Ito naman ang shootout number two. Norris made it to P1. And then, uh, yan. Norris made it to P1 and the drivers who were eliminated in SQ SQ2 we have uh, <clears throat> Magnussen Magnussen Hulkenberg Gasly Bottas and Alonso Alonso and due then to the, the, sa bangga yeah, yeah due yeah, to yeah. the uh, kaya huling huli siya dito and no time kasi <clears throat> he wasn't able to take the SQ2 because of the damage of his car so Sprint shootout number three. These are the top ten. Uh, we have Lando Norris, Max Verstappen, Sergio Perez, George Russell, Lewis Hamilton, Yuki Tsunoda, uh, Charles Leclerc, Daniel Ricciardo, Carlos Sainz, and Oscar Piastri. So that's your top ten for the sprint. Followed by the sprint race. This is the lights out and away they go. Uh, we see here... Uh, there's a good launch by uh, Max Verstappen. Kaya pagdating dito sa 
first turn, nauna na siya from Lando Norris. And then dito, um, we can see here that uh, Sergio Perez is uh, struggling, kaya naunahan siya ng dalawang Mercedes dito. We have here, nauna si George Russell and following him is um, uh, Lewis Hamilton. So this is after, this is Q, turn 3 na. Ito na yung linya ng mga kotse. Makikita natin dito, nauna na si George Russell from uh, uh, Perez. And then, followed by here, naunahan na din siya ni Lewis Hamilton. Okay, Jong. Maganda ang opisa ng dalawang Mercedes dito. Uh, they are really racy. Talagang Alam mo, mabilis yung kotse nila. Uh, what can you say? Uh, dun, sa mga, dun sa first part, uh, what do you think is is the key para maunahan nila si si uh, Perez? Uh, is it palpak ang start ni Perez or talagang racy lang talaga sila? Because after this, after this uh, incident right here, George Russell was able to take um, uh, Lando Norris. Yes, Actually, yeah. what you see right here is ano eh, sort of nag-duplicate doon sa karere. Eh. Diba? Na, so, ang pisa medyo mabilis sila. Tapos pagdating dito, ano eh, diba? Para bang there's something wrong. Ewan ko ah. <laughs> diba kasi... Maganda lang sila sa umpisa. Maganda lang sila sa umpisa. Ganun. Although everybody, everybody, of course, since we know it's a sprint, everybody more or less naka ano naka soft compound kasi soft. 24 laps lang so tapos high speed yung race track so they need all the ano the the heat from the tires for them to be able to you know get this done uh, in front of everybody but i guess i don't know really what's wrong with mercedes right now <laughs> how about you andy yeah. ano sa tingin mo ang problema dito ngayon Mm, actually, you know, that's a very good question. No? Um, I wasn't able to really pick up on anything uh, specific to to this re- race weekend with regards to yung performance ng Mercedes. Uh, but yeah, just focusing here sa sprint, no? Nak- ang, nakit- nakikita natin ang ganda ng pace nila. Very good pace at the start of the sprint. They knew it was gonna be, well, they know it's gonna be just 24 laps, so like John said, everyone's going to be on softs. Um, <clears throat> tire temperature, track temperature really played a big yes, part no, yes. sa, sa simula ng race na to. Especially lap one. Incredible pace, especially from, yes, yeah, George Russell taking on Lando Norris right there. And um, Lewis Hamilton also, you know, making his way up, up, the, um, up the formation. Very good pace, but yeah, um, Yung nga lang, the only thing was it, it was only good for the sprint. Yeah. I think dinela nila yung settings nila sa sprint towards the Grand Prix. Oh, you know, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pero ako sa tingin ko, sa tingin ko parang uh, stagnant na yung stagnant development. na yung development ng kotse, yeah. kotse nila. Hmm. They thought they thought they, they might have done something Uy, okay ito. Because yan yung mga nakasanayan nila noon pa. Hindi nila alam, all the other teams are one step ahead of them. Di ba, no? Parang yeah, ganun ba? Yeah. Like, for example, <clears throat> kamunti ko na makalimutan na Aston Martin biglang, whoa! <laughs> wow. Di ba? <laughs> From the very end. Kaya, yeah. Eh, no? wow. yeah. yeah. Kaya, I mean, Mercedes, I mean, uh, Lewis Hamilton, sabi niya, he can't wait to um, to get rid of this uh, car. Ano ba ito? W4? Mm. W14? Nakakotse. <laughs> Basura na naman daw. Anyway, it ito is. na nga. Um, naunahan, naunahan ni Lewis Hamilton si Checo Perez. Pero after lap 4, ayan na. Dito na nag, dito na nag-degrade ang performance na <laughs> oh, Mercedes na. No? <laughs> Kasi nakuha ulit ni Checo yung position. And then after that, 
Uh, Lando Norris was able to take the position of P2 from George Russell. And then after this, uh, Perez was able to take his uh, P3 na naman from George Russell. Then uh, after this, uh, we have Carlos Sainz. Ah, Carlos Sainz is taking Yuki Sonoda right here. And then we also have a battle between the two Australians. We have... Um, mm-hmm. Uh, yes, si Ricardo. Si Daniel Ricardo and si Oscar Piastri. Tapos dito, nakuha na naman ni... Sino ba ito? Si Leclerc. Nakuha ni Leclerc si Lewis Hamilton. And then after this, ah, Jong, this is really hurtful. <laughs> Maraming Yuki ganun Sonuta. sa karera. Maraming ganun sa uh, karera. Kaya medyo ano talaga, no? Ah, wow. Yeah. Um, too bad. Too bad for the coverage, no. Too bad for the coverage of this overtake of uh, historical overtake of Yuki Sonoda, uh, kay Lewis Hamilton. But very short lang ito because after this, Daniel Ricardo was also able to to overtake a lot of cars para at least papasok sa doon sa my point. So. Hindi ko alam pero baka hindi din na baka British din yung nagaano nagdi-direct ng mga camera sabi niya <laughs> hindi ko na to kaya hindi <laughs> pa natin <laughs> you, <laughs> If you watch the replay if you watch the replay talaga this one is very short hindi man lang natin nakita na talagang si Yuki pass I mean yung nalamangan talaga niya si Lewis Hamilton dito, hindi talaga natin napanood kasi napan ka agad yung camera kay Daniel Ricardo Pero, I mean, bala na. My heart goes to, ano, uh, <laughs> Yuki Sunoda here. Sabi ko, yan Yuki, go Yuki, go! Kasi, seven-time world, seven-time world yeah. champion ka. Overtaken by an Alfa Tauri driven by the smallest the smallest guy on track the japanese talagang insulto ito di ba toto are you watching this di ba pag pag napanood di toto ito or nung nano na panood niya hindi natin alam ano very si disappointing ito. grabe very disappointing yeah. <laughs> ito ito na yan <laughs> yuki sonoda Nauna na siya kay uh, Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> and then, of course, Max Hamilton, ay, Max Hamilton, Max Verstappen took the checkered flag for the first, uh, for P1, followed by Norris and Sergio Perez. So, ito yung sprint classification natin. These are the results. We have Max Verstappen, Lando Norris, Sergio Perez, George Russell, Yuki Charles Sunoda. Lecler, Yuki Sunoda. <laughs> Luis Hamilton, ah. Carlos Sainz, Daniel Ricardo, and Oscar Piastri. Yeah. Oh, y- masaya yung <clears throat> mas masaya yung sprint. Mas masaya yung sprint because of <laughs> because of the moves of these backmarker cars. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Midfield, oh, midfield or oh, backfield? <laughs> Pero, di ba? Backfield, <laughs> midfield. Back, oh, backfield, da, di ba? <laughs> oh. Alpha Tauri, 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 <laughs> De, parang gusto na nilang matapos eh, no? Para bang, let's get this Uh-oh, over with. Yeah. <laughs> kaya, nga, kaya nga, hindi na hindi na nagpagupit si George Russell eh. Sabi niya, eh, taposin na lang natin ang karera. No more Mr. Uh, nice Guy. <laughs> no more Mr. Nice Guy, yeah. Now we go on Sunday race. Dito, medyo hurtful. Naawa ako kay Charles Leclerc dito in the first, yeah. uh, um, first part. Warning lang. Warning, warning muna. Warning, warning. Ferrari fans, oh, Leclerc warning. fans, look oh. away now. <laughs> uh, shout out. out. Okay. Ano, ano tayo? Uh, 
Uh, shout out on the comments below if you're a Ferrari fan. And it's really heartbreaking, ba? For this one. Or what? No? <laughs> Tell us your thoughts about this one. It's on yeah. a formation Tell us your lap. Thoughts because yeah. I have my own I have my own thoughts on this this uh this event no uh when I saw this uh formation lap ganyan ganito ikot ikot tas biglang ito kasi yung unang pinakita eh ganyan sabi ko uy mm. ano nangyari Imagine madaling araw ito ha karera na lunes na lunes di ba so ka. office na in a few hours so pinanood ko sabi ko uy Nakita ko. Black yung ano, ikam. Sabi ko patay. Charles Leclerc, ano nangyari? So i yung pala, ang nangyari is while he was while he was hitting his tires na nawala ang hydraulics, nasira yeah. yung hydraulics niya. Yep. So when that happens, yeah, when that happens, he will really uh, you will really, um, uh, ano, uh, you will really lose everything. You will, you will lose everything, di ba? Brakes, steering, lahat ng, mm-hmm. lahat ng system ng kotse na may hydraulics, pag natanggal yan, na, wala na, tapos na. You know, we have the steering, brakes, di ba? Some parts of the engine. Kaya biglang, mabagal na mabagal yung takbo niya, tapos biglang, oops, spin siya, tapos... He hit the wall. So, kawawa naman si Charles dito. Yeah. However, and, and for him. Yeah. Okay na sana ako, pero sabi niya, why am I so unlucky? Why am I so unlucky? For me, <laughs> as a driver, as a karera, alam mo, driver ka, di ba? Billion moving parts. You know, anything can happen. So, sana, nilabas niya yung frustration niya, pinagalitan niya yung team niya on the radio, nagmura siya, we can accept that. But if you declare that you are unlucky, would, I mean, would affect the, the team, would you ma-demoralize sila? Kasi, like, for example, ah, nag-declare na yung driver natin na mahala siya. So, whatever we do, di ba, Andy? Can you, can you get my point? Bumigay yung driver niyo. Oh. Yeah, ka. Yung driver bumigay na kasi ang bumigay. Eh. Pero kung pinagalitan mo, giyawyawan mo siya, yung, yung frustrations mo, binuhos mo sa radio, that mm-hmm. is understandable for the team. Okay, we, 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 it, will, yeah, it will never happen again. We apologize, mm-hmm. kanyang ganito. Pero... He declared himself unlucky na. So, oh, my, grabe kasi. Oh. Kawawa lang yung team. Yeah. Grabe kasi si Charlie. He's very, ah, yeah. uh, if you're, yeah, if, you, if you've seen Charles Leclerc in the years past, at, oh, alam yeah. mo na, Charles, Charles Leclerc's number one critic is Charles Leclerc. Sa rin oh, niya. yeah. Mm. Diba? So, yeah, I, I, I don't think I've ever, he hardly ever blames anyone else kung, kung ano nangyayari sa kanya, diba? He always, go, he always goes back and blames himself. <laughs> Unfortunately, Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, correct. Yung, yes, Andy, yung, I agree. Lumalabas na yun, ano, oh. at saka, ngayon lang, ngayon lang parang mag, parang nag, nag-emphasize tayo sa, ano niya, sa attitude niya towards himself kasi nga, sunod-sunod na yung malas niya eh. So, I think, mm. he, he, I, I just don't think he could, could help himself no, na he, he had to say those words over the radio kasi, you know, he's very frustrated over oh, yeah. not just himself, but, everything na nangyayari na every every time na may incident that cost him victory well, you know he's he he wants that championship he wants to win and i i get that we get that sayang mo talaga he's, he's frustrated i get that yeah and yeah um hopefully this will um hopefully um yeah this will all you know there's, there's a lesson in this uh, for the team to learn and for Charles to learn as well. But yeah, un- until then, <laughs> ganun talaga. Ganun <Yeah>. life. <laughs> we have a comment right here, Carl. Uh, mm-hmm. Sabi, eh, sabi, engineer, eh, sa mga engineer na skudere-fere, mag-ayos kayo dyan. 
Galing nga niya na mabagayo sa Ferrari ni Charles. Oo nga. Kawawa, yeah. kawawa yeah. naman si Leclerc. Yeah. He's trying his best. Pero yun na. Everything just... Ariel! Ariel! Ariel. Yeah. Good evening. Ariel Santos! Yes. Shout out! All Good evening, right. Good evening, Good evening, Ariel. Welcome to the show. Yeah. Welcome to the show, Ariel. All right. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So after this, um, we had to start missing si Charles Leclerc dito. <clears throat> so, eto na. If you can remember, the two Aston Martins uh, nasa third and fourth sila. Third and fourth, yeah. However, Lando, Lando Norris was able to squeeze himself from the side of Manong Alonso. And we also have here um, Lewis Hamilton. Naunahan din niya dito si uh, Lance Stroll. So, right here, Makikita natin sa angle na ito. This is Max Verstappen. Trailing in number two, we have um, Lando Norris. Number three, si uh, Lewis Hamilton. And yung dalawang Aston, Aston Martin Martins. Uh, drop down from third and fourth naging fourth and fifth na sila, respectively. Pero dito sa may likuran, nakita natin parang may usok na nangyayari. May kaguluhan. Pa. <laughs> May kaguluhan sa likod. So yun pala. <laughs> Nagkaroon na Aray. impact dito. So makikita natin, ito yung kotse ni Albon. And then after this, we see the has of uh, Kevin Magnussen. So this one is the top view. Kevin Magnussen, Albon. Um, okay, ganito yung nangyari. Nagkaroon ng contact between the two of them because na sandwich nila si Hulkenberg. So hindi lang itong dalawa ang na-damage pati itong kotse ni Oscar Piastri kasi tinamaan din siya ng kotse ni Kevin Magnussen. Okay na sana. Ayos na sana tayo. Sige, tatlo yung damage. Pero itong gulong na ito na up in the air papunta sa kotse ni Daniel Ricardo. Sayang. And tinamaan ang rear wing niya. So, in the interviews, Ricardo said, Ricardo was really frustrated because um, sabi niya, his car was frustratingly fast. Mm -hmm. Sabi niya, kahit ako, sabi talaga niya, kung hindi nangyari sa akin ito, siguro nasa 6th, 5th ako na, ano, kasi yeah, he, could have had he was able race, to yeah. engineer yeah, he was able to engineer the both the uh, both Alpha Tauris to his liking. Tapos yung mga natutunan niya sa Red Bull before uh, mm -hmm. na na relay niya sa mga engineers ng Alpha Tauri. Kaya you can see their performance in Mexico and right here. I mean, come on, Yuki Sonoda na na overtake si si Lewis Hamilton. So malas lang dito talaga tinamaan sila pero look eto na yung nangyari sa kanila pero hindi nila sinabi na why am i so unlucky di ba because <laughs> as a racer you know there are a lot of moving parts yeah. there are a lot of other drivers on the race track may mangyari talaga so do not declare yourself as unlucky <laughs> kasi kawawa yung team the team Ito na yung ginawa natin, ginawa na natin lahat. Pero pag yung palang driver natin, since malas yun, wala din pala, palpak. So, parang ganun yung, yun lang naman yung sa akin. Sana hindi sinabi ni Charles yun. Pero, since punong-puno na din siguro siya, so, wala tayong magawa. So, restart. Because of this, <laughs> yeah, because of this incident, nag-red flag, and nagkaroon na naman ng second, second restart. So, eto, Max Verstappen, second si uh, Lando Norris, and then third si Lewis Hamilton. So, akala na naman natin, magkakaroon na naman ng impact dito because nag-lock up ang gulong ni uh, Lewis <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> thankfully, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thankfully, uh, thankfully, eto, naka-final naka formation na sila. Okay, we have a race already. Bilisan ninyo kasi alas dos imedya na lang madaling araw. Gusto ko na matulog. 
<laughs> that was what I was thinking back then. Sabi ko tama na. Wala nang incident. Kasi in in a few in a few hours matutulog na ako and then so yun lang nangyari dito. Dito na portion medyo antok-antok na po tapos biglang nakita ko dito, aba, walang DRS 'to ha kasi kakaumpisa pa yeah. lang. No DRS yes. pero I mean Manong Alonso with his uh, Aston Martin challenging um, Lewis Hamilton Lewis. and eventually he was able Passing. to take Lewis yeah. Hamilton able to pass. for yes. P3. Yeah. So, eh, okay. So, nawala ang toko. Sabi ko, kapi muna tayo <laughs> para maganda itong karera. And then, eto na nga. Tapos, very, very racy din itong papaya ni Lando Norris. Kasi Lando Norris was able to challenge, challenge Max yeah. Verstappen. Yeah. Imagine, McLaren, back of the grid, uh, on the first part of the season, now, it was uh, this team is able to challenge the the fastest car on the grid. I mean, wow, grabe. Ito, kumunti ka na dito mm. si Max. And then after this, ito na naman. Kumunti ka din dito si Max. However, Max Verstappen was able to uh, was able to uh, get a good grip, was able to get a good turn, and then Clean air siya kasi siya yung nauuna. Turbulent air itong nakukuha ni Lando Norris. Kaya Max Verstappen was able to uh, increase his uh, gap between Lando Norris. Eventually, Lando Norris wasn't able to open his DRS na. Kasi ayun na, dumiretso na si, si Max Verstappen. Nag-speed off na siya from, from Lando Norris. And then, after this... This is the battle of uh, uh, Sergio Perez and dito na Jong, nag-deteriorate na naman din dito si, si Mercedes-Benz. Mm-hmm. Sabihan, ko lang, sabihan lang kita, while watching this, all the radios, all the radio communications was between, sa buong karera Jong, ah, was between George Russell and his engineer. Talagang mabibingi ka kay George Russell dito sa karera na ito. Mayat-maya, George Russell, tawag. Talaga, no joke. So anyway... Ano sinasabi uh, niya? Hindi ko na... Ano eh? Ano sinasabi niya? Sabi niya... Pansin ko rin yun eh. Uh, uh, ano nang nangyayari dito? Uh, kailangan ko... Parang asking, kailangan yeah. kong i-overtake. Kailangan kong i-overtake si Lewis Hamilton. Kasi mas maganda yung pace niya kesa kay Lewis eh. Sabi ng team, stay where you are protect Lewis Hamilton. Kasi protection niya dapat si Lewis para makuha ni Lewis ang top 2 na driver points, di ba? So, yun. Pero, because of this, uh, nahihirapan siya magdepensa. Nauunahan siya ng mga, like, for example, this one, nauunahan siya ni Sergio Perez dito. Then, eventually, instead na i-protect siya ni, ni uh, George Russell dito, na overtake naman si Lewis Hamilton ni ni uh, Perez. Uh, Sergio Perez. So, tawag na naman si George. O ano, anong kailangan natin? So, George, wag wag mong sayangin yung kulong mo. Yes, racing tayo ngayon. Pero kailangan nating umabot sa ending. Tawag na naman si George. O anong kailangan natin gawin? Box tayo. So, box sila. Okay. <laughs> Puro George Russell and the engineer sa buong karera. Krabi nakakabingi. Tapos, eto pa. Ayan, tinira na naman siya ni Lance Stroll dito. The Hurt, di ba? Lance Stroll, nasa likod yan lagi. Ngayon, na-overtake na naman siya. Tawag na naman siya sa engineer. Now, what's happening? I'm losing control of my left, rear, uh, left tire. Ganyan ganito. So, parang... Tire degradation, loss of pace, lahat nasa Mercedes sa sa karera na ito. And, Jong, Lance Stroll was able to take Lewis Hamilton. Yeah, Imagine. I know. I know. <laughs> Meron pang mas, ma, ano, mas masaklap na overtake dyan. Masaklap. <laughs> oh, <kaya. laughs> Tapos, uh, 
<clears throat> ah, eto. Carlos Sainz, sabi niya, before the race started, na after this race, ibasura na natin itong clutch ko. Kasi he was having trouble with the clutch. Pero na-overtake naman niya, Chong, ang, ang Mercedes. <laughs> Kahit may problema siya sa clutch niya. Yeah. So, tawag na naman si George Russell dito. Sabi niya, wala na akong magawa dito. Supposed to be, ang plano kasi nila dito, Jong, supposed to be, is yung ginawa ni Carlos Sainz and ni Lando Norris dun sa Singapore, kung maalala mo. Yeah. So, sige, Luis, mauna ka, pero bigyan mo ako ng DRS para maproteksyon ang kita. Pero si Luis, medyo magulang, pag nakakakita ng magandang grip, na bumibuelo, kaya naiiwan si George. Kaya eventually, instead of defending uh, defending Lewis Hamilton, nangyayari is nakukuha siya ng mga uh, cars that is threatening him and then after that na overtake ni Carlos si George Russell and then eto naman na overtake ni Carlos si Lewis Hamilton and John after this sa sobrang ingay ni George Russell Mercedes-Benz decided to uh, uh, retire the car. <laughs> retire the car, yes. <laughs> Ni-retire nila. Binigyan na lang. Sa tingin ko ha, binigyan na lang nila nag-excuse si George na, George, may nakita kami sa telemetry. Parang may problema yung kotse mo. <laughs> Pero siguro, <laughs> nabigi na sila sa... <laughs> I, Ay, I no, think, oh, George Russell. <laughs> All right, we have a ano, saglit yan. Carl Conrad, kung may gustong sumabutahe. Sumabutahe. Ah, Charles. Okay, kay Charles, <laughs> parang awan <laughs> yun na, tigilan yun. <laughs> Meron bang sabotage na ginawa sa kotse ni Charles? I doubt that. That was... Charge needs Accident, a smarter yeah. and trusted strategist and engineer. I think the whole team needs a, you know, a, I don't know, a revamp or something. Uh, yeah, totoo yan. I, I agree in, on, on that point na they, they need better people. Na, yeah. And strategist and engineer nila. Except for this race. Kasi, you know, talagang this was nobody's fault. Uh, ano, mm. Umiga lang yung hydraulics ng kotse. Nangyayari talaga yan. Oh, Where and yeah. there, yeah. yeah. so, these things will happen. Yeah. Pero on many Billion other, moving parts. Yeah, I might agree. But for for this particular one, na kotse talaga ang kotse ang ano ang problema. Ang problema, Hindi yeah. <laughs> okay, once Hindi again tao, from yun. Carl. Thanks for watching, Sarah De Villiers. Hi, Hi Sarah, if you're watching, so you. welcome to the show. Thank you so much for checking this out. All right, Yam, let's continue. All right. So anyway, ito na nga uh, and then <laughs> after this ah ito yung battle between Manong Alonso and Sergio Perez. Okay. Yeah, this is what pinahirapan I love pinahirapan ni Alonso si Perez ng siguro mga about uh 15 to 20 laps. Talagang he was uh, anong tawag nito? Parang tinitrick niya si Sergio to follow him uh, kasi nga nauna siya clean air siya so kaya niyang kaya niyang uh, kumuha ng yung magandang racing line pero iniiba-iba niya para at least malito si Sergio Perez dito kaya natagalan si Perez na mahabol si uh, Manong Alonso but eventually at lap 70 the second to the last lap Perez was able to take uh, Fernando Alonso. And then after this, ito. Fernando Alonso, pagdating niya dito, sige, okay, bigay na natin kay Perez yung, yung podium. Parang ending ko na ito. Kasi he accepted yung nasa harapan niya is a Red Bull. However, yan, nakitaan, niya, nakitaan niya yung may, may, may mistake ng konti si Perez. Nakita niya, sabi niya, uy, ito. This is my chance. Kaya ko siyang habulin. Kasi after this kasi, uh, may DRS doon banda. As breaking dito, so off ang DRS. And then after this, may DRS zone na naman. So dito sa DRS zone na ito, dito niya tinira si Checo. 
at lap 71 of 71. The last lap. Last lap, yeah. Yeah, last lap. So, yeah, ito na, nanalo na si nanalo na si uh, Sergio Perez, ah, si, si Max Verstappen. But here, we can see a very close uh, um, run drag race. between uh, a drag race of uh, Manu Alonso and Sergio Perez and eventually Alonso was able to take P3. We have here Pito Lando Norris. So, hmm. nagkaroon ng konting mistake dun sa turn. Nag late breaking si Perez kaya he was out of the racing line and doon na nakita ni ni Malong Alonso na this is my chance. I think I can get this and eventually imagine yung Aston Martin who was having problems in the middle of the season was able to challenge and take a Red Bull. Yeah, so, aside from this, uh, if you see the, the difference between Perez and ano, and yan, pwede mo ma-blow ma out yung time difference ni Manong Alonso and Checo Perez. That's, there we go. Yes. That is uh, a hairline, more or less. No? So, uh, yeah. oras lang basihan. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yung, yeah. yeah, maliit yeah. lang. It's, it so, so happened that uh, things are Wala wow. lang sa racing line si Sergio Perez. If you can hmm. move back there. Yeah, ano, it was yeah. just, a, it was just a, not the best exit. No? Not the best third. exit, yes. Oh, yung, you, that's that's all it did. a start-finish line. Yung kanina, start-finish line, yam. Ah, start Kasi, uh, there's a chance if nagkamali si Alonso dito, if nag-out siya, may chance pa si Perez mag, mag, magkuha yung ano eh. Oh, of course. Oo, oh, oh. kasi, oo. Oh, oh. Pero outside siya eh. So it took him a lot of effort and uh, race track to be able to get that oh, position. Yes. Kaya 0 0.053 of a second. Kaya, but mm -hmm. the action was really very nice. Grabe. So nakita mo yung, isipin mo yung parity nung, nung, ano, nung Aston Martin at saka Red Bull car. ba? Although yeah. we're talking about Fernando Alonso. May comment pala regarding Fernando Alonso, the Battle of the Legends. And Jens Cadianza, yeah, the new Minister of Defense. Vamos, Fernando. Oh, yeah, see? So, naisahan niya si Checo. So, ang galing. So, I think, for me, ah, ito, ito, ito yung maganda na, na action dito. At saka yung, yung ano, yung labanan ni, ni Lando Norris and, and Max Verstappen and the at the start no yung uh sina challenge niya si, mm -hmm. si Max Verstappen but this one right here it's it's really very you know so good yeah. yeah and obviously mas mabilis yung kotse ng Red Bull but yes of mas ano lang si Manong Alonso <laughs> mas uh, ano lang. Uh, he's, he's a smart driver yeah um, smart driver talagang smart driver. ano alam niya yeah, alam niya na may limitation yung kotse niya. However, dinaan niya sa dinaan yeah. niya sa pagiging world champion. Yes. That's how world champions do it, di ba? Yeah. Like yes. for example, Max Verstappen. Uh, very tactical driver. Diyan niya, inuubos niya yung battery niya doon sa mga areas na alam niyang mabilis siya. Yeah. So, kaya nauuna siya, di ba? Doon niya, niya binubuhos yung energy, yung, yung extra energy ng batteries niya. So, very tactical driver. Hindi kagaya ng iba, pag naghahabol, sige, tira siya. Si, yeah. si Max, pagka naghahabol siya, hindi niya basta-basta ginagamit yung battery niya, ginagamit niya kung saan siya, kung saan yung magandang Sabi niya, okay dito, maganda, okay ang forma ko dito, dito ko ubusin para at least uh, makausad siya kaagad doon sa hinahabol niya. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's how world champions are made. Yes, which yes. is here yeah, right. uh, a very uh, very evident of of a world champion, uh, Manong Alonso. Kaya, Manong, Sorry at nakalimutan ko yung pangalan ng team mo. <laughs> also, if you, so, if you go back to that, no, 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 if you go back to that graphic, sandali, uh, Yam and Jong, no? if you go back to that graphic na yung race classification, yes, P3 
P5, Lance Troll. Yes, Lance Troll. Yes, yes. yes. A horrendous uh, few few weekend few race weekends for him. Yeah, he's back in the top ten. So well done for Aston Martin. Which begs the question: Anong ginawa nila? Where where have they been, diba? Yeah. And apparently, ang ginawa lang nila instead of upgrades, downgrades ang ginawa nila. Yes. <laughs> Bumalik sila. Binalik nila yung <laughs> binalik nila yung setup. An older binalik nila yung setup. Car. Yeah. Yeah. Bumalik sila sa that sa previous version, previous setup nila. Kasi yeah, um, <laughs> that was working. Taka nga po why it took them so long to realize no na yun lang pala. Because it's been ilang races na since um, since they were challenging for the podium places. Na, di ba? It's been several months um, since we saw them in the top ten. So yeah, so e, good, good on them for, good on them for realizing. Na, yeah. Yeah. Ito yeah. <laughs> that is that's what point zero five three looks like. Yeah, grabe ham finish talaga. So kudos to kudos to Aston Martin for yeah for yeah. realizing what the problem was and fixing it. Kahit it, kahit late na in the season and you know uh, decided na yung championships and everything. This is still good amount of points for the team. So I think it was worth it. Yung yung downgrade nila was worth it. Yeah. <laughs> At least they were able to uh, to find yeah. something there. I mm. anyway, yeah. Max Verstappen so, the usual well, <laughs> yeah. Here's the result. We have Max Verstappen, Lando Norris, Fernando Alonso, Sergio Perez, Lance Stroll, Carlos Sainz, Pierre Gasly, Lewis Hamilton, Yuki Tsunoda, and Esteban Ocon. That's your top 10. And for the first time in the history of F1, we have the Formula no, 1 high yeah. Las Vegas Grand Prix. Dito maganda ang oras, November 19, Sunday. 2 o'clock mm-hmm. in the afternoon. So, binalik-balikan ko ito, bakit 2 o'clock in the afternoon? So, ibig sabihin, Saturday ng gabi ang race sa Las Vegas. So, mm, I checked, okay. Las Vegas, Las mm-hmm. Vegas will be November 18, 2200. So, alas 10 ng mm-hmm. gabi on a Saturday. So, sa atin, Bro, pang- rate night, no? alas 10 ng gabi sa kanila. Yes, Late 10 o'clock night. in the evening. Then again, it's Las Vegas. So yeah, so the city never budget. sleeps. <laughs> but, but the residents are complaining. The residents are enraged. Mm. They yes. tore down a lot of F1 uh, yeah. graphics na all over the city. They tore wow, down. really? Oh, galit sila, galit, galit, and then, ito pa, Jong. Ito pa. Siyempre. Bay, kasi madidisturbo sila, bay. Mm, okay. Mm, well, the, so. you will be disturbed. Kasi ano oh. naman eh, the, the race is at the Strip, Las Vegas Strip. Yes. The residences yeah. are very people, far away. People live at the Strip. Some people live near, yeah, near I, the Strip. Hotels, more or less. Oh. But Yung mga trabaho nila. And, and, trabaho siguro nila. And hindi yeah. lang, uh, and hindi lang, hindi lang ang mga, ano ha, hindi lang ang ang mga residents ang nag-wild din ha? pati na din yung mga nakabili na ng hotels and tickets oh, to bakit? watch the F1 kasi ganito when they introduced Las Vegas F1 sobrang mahal ng hotel sobrang mahal ng tickets mm-hmm. yeah tapos ngayon lately lately hindi na benta ng mga hotels ang lahat ng rooms nila so, nag 50% off sila, nag 70% off sila, ah, para no, mabenta no. nila. Then, these people found out and they are demanding for refunds. Ah, so, no. medyo magulo. Yeah, medyo magulo hmm. itong Las Vegas ngayon. I hope walang mangyaring masama. Pero, hindi pa lang nag-uumpisa, nagkakaroon na sila ng malaking problema. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Jong, that will be... That will be three nights, ha? Three, three sleepless nights. nights sila. Yeah, because <laughs> we have practice on a Thursday, uh, practice and uh, qualifying on a Friday, Friday. night, mm-hmm. mm. and nice. Sunday night, uh, Saturday night is the race. Kaya, 
Yun ang mga <laughs> Actually, <laughs> you feel for you feel for the people na yung atak mga taga doon, di ba? You feel for them. Pero this is F, um that's that's what F1 does is yeah, yeah, there will be disruptions. And this is a new track. So um my worry as a as a fan on the other side of the planet, quite literally, is ang worry ko number one is yung race coverage. Kasi yun na that, that was Diba, tulad na nangyari sa, sa Brazil. Diba, the, it was terrible coverage. Ang daming palpak. Really? Na, nagbabata si, nagbabata on track, ah, Alonso and um, Perez, nagka-cut away sa, sa pit lane. Nagka-cut away somewhere else, diba? Ah, ilang I haven't noticed yun. that. Oh, ilang beses yeah, nangyari because... yun. Yeah, because... Nakakainis na nga. Ang daming, nag, nag, ang daming nagko-comment online. There were plenty of um, oh. comments online about how terrible the race direction was uh, the race coverage i think i know Same. why bakit mm. i think i know why Sige pinsan nga. yata ni george russell ang director <laughs> <laughs> kaya pala so british uh, bagay with, uh... kaya pala that explains a lot yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, british uh, okay <laughs> so sana hindi nila yeah, ma-accept yuki galit pa siya kay yuki sunode eh. galit pa siya kay yuki sunode <laughs> anyway <laughs> Before, before we do the oh, question and answer, John, baka, baka pwede natin ilabas si Carlos Sainz dyan. Yeah, saglit. Meron mm-hmm. natin pakita. Uh, Carl Conrad, ang mga drivers ang magpupuyat at hindi ang mga nanonood. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, so, Brazil and Las Vegas. Um, where's Brazil? South America. So, I think medyo konti lang yung... Ano, yung uh, a time difference. So Las yeah. Vegas is also in the West Coast. Tama ba? West so, Coast. Las Vegas is in the West Coast. So, so anong oras yun? Alas, alas dos ng hapon sa Pilipinas. Alas dos no? ng hapon sa Pilipinas. Mm. So, and so, ten o'clock Sunday. in the evening Saturday sa, sa Las oh, Vegas. Vegas. So, so alas dos jan. So two, three, four. That means alas cinco ng hapon dito. Okay, I can watch it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. When we come back, we'll just come back. We'll just listen to Mr. Carlos Sainz. For me, I had always dreamed about being a Formula One Ferrari driver. The day I walked in the first day as a as a worker in Ferrari, you know, it, it was just something that felt a bit unreal. It's a mix of pride and responsibility. You need to keep challenging uh, everyone around you, yourself, to keep making the, the car and the team stronger. And I see this drive and motivation inside Ferrari right now. have our challenges inside the sport and some years you have more than others but uh, there's always something impeding you. Probably my first years in Formula One I was too switched on, too tense, thinking too much. You'll normally, the bad day, if it's not my fault, I'm super angry uh, because I feel frustrated that there's something out of my control. But then the day after, it's easy. I, I put it behind. It's the days where you make a mistake that they stay on you for a bit longer, no? And, and it's where you need to have the capacity to analyze, to digest it, and then to put it behind. There's that tilt feeling always when you do a mistake because you are part of uh, more than a thousand people, you know, creating the car, creating the masterpiece, you know, that we get to drive every day. Even nowadays, you know, even days that you wake up with maybe not so happy about whatever is going on in your life, I always try to remind myself that I'm a Ferrari driver driving for Ferrari uh, in Formula One and I've achieved my dream and this puts me immediately back into a great uh, into a great day mindset.
All right. We would like to thank Shell Helix and Shell V Power for uh, supporting our 2023 The Purple Sector Race Talk season. So, maraming salamat po. And now, wait, uh, meron mong comment kanina. Uh, shout out na nga po pala sa Tokai Futures, Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz Ferrari fans, of course. Shout out sa mga Ferrari fans dyan who are watching with us tonight. And uh, here, here right now is our trivia. So we're gonna give you three questions and on those questions are the required answers. So we're giving out three items. Car shade first, second will be the t-shirt, and of course the toolkit. So there we go. Are you ready? <clears throat> By the way, okay. it's... De, i share ko lang, no? uh, I receive a lot of, I know, I receive a lot of because uh, when Las Vegas was announced, I receive a lot of, I joined the, ano pala, I joined the, what do you call that? That um, mail, ano, mail, group mail, yung ah, okay. ng What yeah. do you call that? For, uh, for you to be able to get the packages. So, oh, may, may, may libre kang package para no, sa atin? Wala, walang libre. Okay. <laughs> Nagpadala <laughs> ng ano, kung how much does it cost. So, when I computed it, it's almost 700,000 pesos. Wala pang airfare. So, it's really very expensive. Wow! Ah, yeah. Oh, oh wow. That's hotel wow. and a four-day accommodation. And, of course, kung saan na uh, ano ka. Grabe. So, it's crazy. So, Grabe, no? I hope Las Vegas will be successful because, of course, mm. uh, F1 has just started in the American market, so they wanted to make this successful. And I guess they signed a five-year contract, by them, or ten-year contract? Five-year, five-year five contract. Years, no? uh, mm. So I think it's a five-year contract. So, you know, it's not easy to build an F1 track. I went to oh. Las Vegas April this year. I saw the construction is really very massive. They they constructed the the paddocks. Meron talagang portion yung paddocks. It's already a a staple uh, part of Las Vegas Strip is yung paddock. So kaya Ah yung, okay, so permanent talaga. Permanent. Parang, permanent. Parang, 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 parang Singapore. Yeah, it's it's permanent. Wow. Pagdaanan mo siya, makita mo siya F1 Las Vegas. So it's part of the no. But it's a highway, it's a street. So, yun. Mm. Parang F1 Singapore, if you pass by the paddocks, makita mo, F1, yun yung paddocks ng F1, mm. it's going to be transformed well, into a racetrack once. Ano. So, definitely, it's going to be chaos right there because in <laughs> Singapore, they closed down the whole area for two months. So, <laughs> though Las Vegas is huge, uh, I don't know. Still. Yeah. Still. Grabe pa rin ang disruption. Yan. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. So. Ito. Here we go. All right. Uh, uh, guys, are you ready for... Sana magkaroon din kayo ng shell na... Shell silang dalawa namin. Charles and Maranel. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Don't First worry, don't question. Don't worry, Carl. Charles, uh, don't worry, Carl. Um, John will ask mamaya. Anyway, are we ready for tonight's um, trivia questions, gentlemen? I guess they are ready. Everyone and the questions. Comments. Andy will okay. type it. Ready? I am going to post the first question for tonight right now. First question is, which current F1 team has the most number of wins at the Brazilian Grand Prix. So, as requirement usual, is want team, name team name and, and number, number of wins. wins please. Team name and number of wins. That should be your answer. You get a car shade. All right. Number of wins, please. Carl Conrad says, Erson Senna, that's not quite correct. We want the, the team. Sinong team? Current team. Current team. Ang may pinakamaraming panalo sa Grand Premio de Brazil. Ano ba yung tawag? Nakalimutan ko yung tawag sa kanila. Oh, Jens Cadianza. 
Tama. And it yes. is McLaren who wins. That is correct. Jens Cadenza. Yeah. I'm gonna well write that done. down. Nicely done, Jens. Congratulations, Jens. Ano na panaluna ni Jens? It's a car shade. Yes. Oh, John. Uh, yes. Dag Dagdagan ko. May bigay din ako. Oh, ano bigay mo yam? Okay. This is a limited Wait, man, edition. Man, man, man. The purple, the purple sector. Oh, wow! Wow! Dalawa yan. Dalawa ang signs yan. Uy! Ayun! Yan. Nice! Stickers ito. This is an outdoor sticker. You can stick it on your car. You can stick it on your laptop. You can stick... Lahat. So, uh, yung sa, nanana, sa nanalo, dalawang stickers. So, wow. this is a die-cut sticker. Ibig sabihin ng die-cut sticker is... It, it is already cut into shape like this one. Bakit so, wala kami cut ganun? into shape na siya. <laughs> well, well <laughs> yeah. and Bakun this is the other yan. one. Ito pala nakita yan. Yun. Wow. Yeah, yeah, this nice. is the other one. Nice. One. nice. So, kasama sa car shade yan. So, Extra mag-collect na kayo. Marami kami ipa... May, may bonus price. Oo, marami kami ipapalabas na designs of the Purple Sector and F1. So... Collect them all. Diba? Yes. Sa trivia. Alright. Maganda yung kanina so, yung season S1, S2, S3. Season 3. Meron uh, bang yeah. S4? <laughs> Meron yeah, bang S4? Is, parang ginaya yung uh, Sector 1, Sector 2, Sector yeah, 3. Yeah, we're already on... Green, purple, purple. The purple we're already in season 2, Just right? Ah, season 3. Yeah. Season Next, 2 na. Next year will be season three. Next year is season three. Wow, nice. All right. Congratulations, Jens Cadianza. I was surprised with that, I know, with that with that sticker. All right. Next question number two. You get a Shell Helix polo shirt and of course the stickers from Yam Boy. Yes. All right. Nice. Coming right up. Okay, ready for the second question? Second question is coming up. Right about now. Uh, there we go. Ito. The Which legendary F1 driver has the most number of wins at the Brazilian Grand Prix? Ito na. Driver name and number driver of name. wins. Yep. Yeah. And the Two answers. Of yeah. Jessica Dianza. Ang bilis. Ang mo. Talagang kinokolektan ni yung... Alright. Are we gonna give it to Jens? There we go. That's Carl, right. sorry. That is uh, Alan Prost. Yeah. Alan Prost has six wins in the Brazilian Grand Prix. So, again, Jens, well done. Gents, pakisama na lang yung size. Though we only have, ano, sige, I think, I'm not sure about that, no. Alright! Now, for the last question. Andy, yung alternate. Right. Yep, so we're ready for the third question, are we? So, everyone else, you still have one more chance to win a prize from us tonight. We have and one more question, and that is coming up. It's a tool set. Right now. Yeah. Third question is, apart from Sao Paulo, which other Brazilian city has held the Brazilian Grand Prix? City, city of Brazil. Okay. City lang. Brazilian okay, Grand Prix. Anong city na held ang Brazilian Grand Prix aside from Sao Paulo, Brazil? Wow. Hindi pa yata ako nakapanood ng, oh. ng ito na karere. Napa, no? napa. Oy, ah, mahina yata yung yung... internet ni Carl. Mahina ang internet ni Carl. Yeah. No. Wala pa. No. Baka mag-grand slam si Jens dito ah. Oo, ang tamangan kayo. Ay, isa na tayo. Mahina ang internet ni Carl. Yeah, okay. Uh, Carl, nasaan na tayo? Driver, na. natin, Carl. We're looking for a city 
which other city in Brazil ang has held host ng ating F1 Grand Prix apart from Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo, Brazil. Kung ano bang ibang city ng Brazil na maisipan nyo, lagay nyo na sa, sa answers. Amazon. Amazon, so Curitiba. <laughs> Ay, hindi. Hometown pala ni Anderson Silva. Curitiba, Brazil. Iba yan. Uh, Looks like the internet is so slow. Yun. Ayun, Jens! Ayun, Sabi yes. na nga ba? <laughs> 343! Yeah! Gents, you saved us! Yeah! You're correct. Rio de Janeiro. Yeah! So you got it! Bakit meron pang ano? <laughs> okay! So you save us mailing! Mailing! <laughs> hula hula lang. Yeah! So you got it! Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Nahula pa talaga. Very good. All right. <laughs> Gents, kindly That's send. Uh, I don't know if we already have your, ano, have your, what do you call that? Uh, <clears throat> address. Yung kindly send. PM na yes. na lang. So yeah, Gents, and, um, I'm, I'm not sure if you have, but yeah, just um, send us your postage <clears throat> details. No, full name, address, and I think, kasap, kasap, kailangan pa ba ang phone number dyan? Sa yeah, phone number. They oh, yeah, yeah. require that. Sali nila please ang phone number mo. I, uh, paki, paki direct message na lang po sa, sa amin. So we can yeah, send you, you won your before. Ayun, prizes. Sige. Send mo na lang ulit. But this Bukan. time you get uh, three sets of stickers. Oh, okay. All right. Been a winner with us before. I guess. Yes. All right. Congratulations. Well, Thank you so much. Again. We'll message. Thank you, gents. All right. So, guys, I think <laughs> we're ready. Um... Two more races to go, and of course, as promised, for the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, uh, we're gonna give out some few more items for our uh, for those who join us. So for the whole year, so sino yung mga bago, sino yung mga luma. Hope you could join us in the. We'll we'll just announce it, and we'll uh, send you our sort of gift for. Joining us for 2023 season, which was indeed a blast. So we'll be able to, you know, uh, have that one at the end. So, Yam, before we go. Yeah. Uh, thank you for joining uh, us tonight for the Brazil Grand Prix. And see you on November 21 for our mm -hmm. coverage of the Las Vegas Grand Prix. Yeah. And then, um, uh, I hope you learned something tonight. And if not, I hope you were entertained. Thank you very much. And see you again on the next edition of The Purple Sector. All right. Andy? All right. All right. Uh, everyone, thank you so much for joining us for our little show tonight. Um, it's been, it was quite a fun one, especially after the, the events um, of the Brazilian Race Weekend. Um, yep. Hopefully, you will join us again in two weeks' time for the um, post-show race, post-race show <laughs> after the uh, Las Vegas Grand Prix. So, it's a new track, new layout, new everything. Exciting. So, we don't know what's going to happen, but that's part of the fun. That's why we watch F1, diba? because it's um, because of all the things that can happen in a very <laughs> short amount of time. So we'll see what happens um, on well, two weeks from now. And uh, yeah, hopefully you will join us again. Uh, in the meantime, yeah, do keep uh, keep an eye out because we do have a few more surprises for you guys before we finish this year's race calendar. Until then, everyone, stay safe. All right. D, thank you. Actually, been to Las Vegas many times already, but I'm, I'm also very excited to see how are they going to fit race cars on the strip so <laughs> so i wonder how are they gonna do that uh sana my sticker pa po kayo dyan sir Yamboy, next week yes marami sticker oh! sticker happy person yan si Yamboy. so <laughs> All marami. Right. marami yeah more to come guys so guys thank you so much for joining us 
this uh, tonight and of course tell your friends about it about this channel uh, a fellow f1 fan can understand if you want to you know uh, share anything any post or whatsoever or ask any question feel free to to message us or, or even comment on the every now and then we post something on on the purple sector so uh, tell your friends about it and tell your friends about this channel and we'll see you two weeks from now after the inaugural race of the las vegas grand prix so yam andy and miles hope we'll see you next week sana nandiyan ka na next week all right guys good night and we'll see you again after the las vegas grand prix bye good night everyone good night